Arena looking great tonight for game three of the best of seven Western Conference semifinal. The Dallas Mavericks, the Sacramento Kings, all square at one. Good evening, everyone, with Michelle Savoya, Tom Tober, Mike Tirico, NBA playoff record book at hand, just in case we have a game like we had in game two. What about the absence of Chris Weber? You, your thought on the big nuts on the Sacramento side, you will see that Hito Turkoglu is the one taking Weber's plays along with Divac Pages Leokovic, Doug Christie, and Mike Bibby. Dallas with their familiar five. Steve Nash, Michael Finley, Eduardo Nahara, Dirk Davinsky, and Rafe LaFrentz with Nick Van Exel, 36 points in the last game, waiting to come off the bench. All square at one as they were last year. Both teams averaging just about 240 points a game. So, tighten up. Stop that. Good defense by Nahara, knocks this away. Finley draws the D and kicks to Nash. First field goal of the night for Steve. The miss, and Van Exel comes away with the rebound. What would you like to see Dallas do on this end? Well, that's a little bit of it, right? <laughs> You gotta get going. I mean, they have, uh, they're a team that has to play on the edge a little bit. And shots like that, they're gonna make some. They're gonna have a 15-point lead. For Sack, Love French to the goal. That's a two. Jimmy Jackson's a thick guy. And Nick Van Axel you know, is gonna have trouble if they want to man-on-man him on the low block. Nash took the bump. He now made it point lead because the exchange rate when these two teams play is about a six and a half point lead right now. Six and a half is the exchange rate. Yes. That's two and a half for one. LaFrance that's two. He misses. Nash's hustle keeps this possession alive. All four of the big scores on the floor for Dallas. Nowitzki knocked down, missed the three. Possession kept alive for the second time by Nash. Can't give them too many chances, can you? 11, but frail. Bibby, Jackson, Jackson, and Christie. Everyone's got to be accountable. Everybody's got to lock on a man and get a rebound. Ash from the top for three more. So Dallas getting back in it with its out. Spun and turned to look for the official. Meantime, Nash leaking on the other end. Uh, the one on four fast break. <laughs> As only Nelly could do it, right? 9.52 inside of two minutes. Adrian Griffin back in the game to join the French Davitsky. Nick Van Exel and Steve Nash. Adrian Griffin may be the only guy in the court right now that wouldn't have fired that shot. End it. Well, France lost to uh, Bibby with that little bump there, and Van Exel hits another three. And the other two daughters. Everybody's doing okay, Rick told us. So he's uh, thinking of them. We wanted to send them our best as well. This is for the tie. It is a Van Exel three. And from down 16, Dallas has squared the game. It's rolled by Sack in that game, in that first half, 26 to 12. And a lot of those are from fast breaks. It's not just because you're dominating inside, because you're getting out and scoring easy buckets. Nash a three, and Dallas leads for the first time tonight, 65, 64. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how does he get that wide open? How does he get that wide open? That's one guy you grab and you stay and you let everybody rotate around you. You say, I'm not going to work, pal. Adrian Griffin. Two for Adrian Griffin. Right away, he said he heard a bit of a popping sound. LaFrench runs the floor, gets the dunk. And it's turned over as Christie and Jimmy Jackson played the two-man game. And zero to 50 in 2.2. And that's goaltending. And they ran the pick and roll and Davinsky just went over to the weak side. By the way, Tom, when Bibby went out earlier with four, Nash connects. Bibby went out with his fourth. Second. For a little guy, he sure lives in the pain, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Nash tries to quiet with a three. Well, that's the great thing about Dallas. They can go three. There have been a few times where we've seen plays that Chris Webber would normally have made fumbled by either Clark or Divac. Van Exel trying to stay hot here in the fourth quarter. Three of 27 shooting threes, does he? One more coming for the third best free throw shooter in the NBA this season, Steve Nash. Go and show you how good these guys are. That when you're a great offensive player and you get things going, it's hard to get it. A three can tie. Nash almost lost the handle. Robert Jackson lost him. Nash got a step. Divac came over. Good body control by Steve. I guess the question could be posed, and even though Ken Clark did a nice job on the boards in the fourth quarter, where was Vladi Divac oh, yeah. for the entirety of the fourth? Williams going to take a three and knock it down. 
Three seconds to the first game and shot. Nash got three. So Walt Williams inside for the dunk. All square at 125. Let's not let this one end. Let's keep it going. Stay here till 2 in the morning. Till everybody fouls out. Well, you don't have to work the back-to-back. -back. They do. <laughs> Nash goes all the way over Jimmy Jackson. Nash. He has. Nash with an open lane. Cut off by Christie. Find a fan Exel. That's three. That's good. Guy coming out to set the screen and make Clyde Debots run around and try to rotate. So far, the point guards, Van Exel and Nash, have been able to penetrate and get someone open. Walt Williams again. Will he hit this three? Yes, he does. The Wizard, a guy who Maryland coach Gary, the Dallas Mavericks take a 2-1 series lead in double overtime, 141 to 137. They get 116 points from their big four. Van Exel at 40, Nash at 31, Nowitzki 25, Finley 20. And tomorrow night, Sacramento, a team that won 59 games and had a great regular season, plays with huge pressure to even the series on TNT. With Michelle and Tom, Mike Tirico, for more, log on to ESPN.com. Good night from Sacramento. Off we go immediately to SportsCenter.